Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Go Go Shop Away. Uh, for anyone who um, doesn't know, um, Go Go Getaway have opened a new online shop called Go Go Shop Away. Um, and this is um, my first layout made for Go Go Shop Away as part of the design team. And I am using the very beautiful Jen Hadfield Stardust collection. So, um, I mean, historically, um, Jen Hadfield collections are not always my favorite, um, but um, this one is really pretty, much more me, and uh, I've really enjoyed um, making some layouts with it so far. So I am playing around with this piece of paper today. You can see it has all the swirls on it. Now, on the this is actually the B side. I think uh, the A side is a really pretty pink rainbow print. Um, so don't you just hate it when that happens and you're completely torn uh, between... Um, um, between both sides of the paper. In that situation, sometimes I buy two sheets. Um, but uh, I, this paper was just crying out to be cut apart um, and uh, distressed and stuck back together again, which is exactly what I've done. But the other side was so pretty, such a pretty rainbow print that uh, I was a bit gutted not to use it. However, um, you can see that I've got the top section, um, I've cut away of the pattern. Uh, so I'm gonna leave some white space at the top of my layout. So that means I do have that piece of rainbow print left over that is highly likely to find its way onto another layer at some point. Um, so all is not lost. Um, okay, so I have just cut down the lines and I am going to distress that with a pair of scissors um, and then I'm going to stick each of the pieces um, back together onto the layout. Um, it reminds me of waves. Um, I know they're not traditional colours of waves, um, but uh, my husband, um, I've, got, I've got this fabulous photo of my husband on a boat driving the boat. Um, I'm not sure he was actually allowed to drive or whether he was um, just posing. Um, <laughs> um, but um, either way, it's a great photo and it needed to be scrapped. So um, there we go. Um, I am now putting that layout back together, leaving a small gap in between um, each of those waves there. And then I, that leaves me with the top section of the layout um, white, which gives me some white space. There's also some fairly pale uh, parts of the big waves. Um, also the big waves, are um, plain rather than patterned, which helps um, it, it not look quite so busy. Um, so what I did there was I just tacked all of those pieces back into position, um, basically to make sure that um, I got the spacing right. Sometimes when you've cut away part of a page, um, it doesn't necessarily match back up again perfectly. So I just like to tack it into position first. Um, I've just put a small bit of tape on each one so that it holds um, and then I can easily remove them again um, and now I'm just sticking them down properly. You can see I'm doing that with my um, my tape runner. Um, so there we go, they're all going back into position, all distressed. Um, I love the look um, like this um, and uh, yeah, that's all stuck down. Um, so it was a little bit sticky there, so just rubbing that off. Just um, adding some additional texture by roughing up those edges even more now that they're stuck uh, just with my fingernails um, and uh, just making also making um, bigger not tears but bigger like sections of distress in some places just to give a bit of extra interest here and there um, so just going along and doing that with all of the rows um, and um, what I should say right now is that um, when I was making this layout, I was actually away on a scrappy holiday with some friends. I went for a whole week. It was completely awesome. Hey, no nos. Um, and uh, we had a great time. However, um, I managed to forget all of my Bramble Fox um, embellishments, which was really annoying because I have a whole box that I want to get used and put onto layouts. So um, the first part of this video, or most, the, the, almost to the end, um, goes and I have a, a title in place. Um, and, uh, uh, but I knew I had a great Bramble Fox perspective at home um, that would be ideal for my title. Um, so I went ahead and made the layout without it. But when I got home, um, I rearranged it slightly uh, at, in order to put, um, put that on. Um, so um, just, uh, just thought I'd explain the reason why um, if I get to the end of the video and I haven't got enough time to explain that. But that's why, because I forgot all of my embellishments and uh, then I had to, which is very annoying, very unlike me to do something like that. Um, but there you go. Um, and um, I added them later. But there you go. That's that's okay. It's a good solution, isn't it? So, um, so yeah. Right. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm now just trying to um, 
add some embellishments to this layout. So I've got my one single photo. Um, it's good that he's looking in the right direction. Um, I would have been a bit upset if he was around the other way or, or I possibly wouldn't have done this design, I suppose, if, if he was. Um, and um, I've just put a uh, foam frame, foam sticky frame behind the photo and I've mounted my photo onto a piece of um, pink paper. Um, and the foam frame is from the uh, foam thickers. So you know that in a lot of American crafts collections, we have, um, X, so instead of alphabet thickers, we also have regular thicker, sorry, we also have um, icon thickers or phrase thickers. Well, these I think are officially the phrase thickers, but they're more like icons because they have a lot more on them um, than just phrases. So I've got the chip, the frame, it's not a chipboard frame, it's a foam frame behind um, the photo. And then over um, on the rest of the layout, I'm adding some other bits and pieces from that sheet as well. Um, so the yellow, oh yeah, is a foam phrase. Um, I've got the word fresh, that's from there as well. And a, a postage stamp that says smile with some flowers on it. They're all from that, um, that set. Um, I've also used um, to the bottom left of my photo, I've used a rosette. I love rosettes. They're one of my favorite embellishments, but I usually make them myself. However, the Jen Hadfield Stardust Collection has a whole set of them um, that are pre-made. So I was like, happy days. Um, I'm really able to um, uh, get on board with that. Um, I was really happy to have those. Um, and uh, I've, I've used most of them already. Um, so um, I put one there. Um, this layout isn't particularly floral, but um, I was happy with that there. I mean, it is a flower because it's got leaves on it, but, um, you know, a rosette is fine too. Um, so then I've just added that little laugh out loud piece of ephemera. Um, I've got in the moment, I've got fun, I've got blue skies ahead. Um, cool. And I've added a heart that's from the sticker sheet. Um, and I'm just adding, some, oh, that's the sticker book there. Just adding some little bits and pieces from the sticker book. So I've just added a butterfly, although I think that's ephemera. Um, little silver details in the sticker books. Um, I think the American Craft sticker books, um, they went a bit funny for a while, um, but now they are a lot better. As in, there's lots of pages. Um, they're mostly cardstock stickers. Some are see-through transparent ones, but most of them are cardstock stickers, um, which is what I prefer. Um, and uh, we have a good mix of icons and phrases and words and borders. So all, all sorts of things in there. I think they're actually a really good value um, pack because you get so many um, stickers in there. Um, they're also quite small, which is ideal for me. I love um, small embellishments um, because I feel that I need a mix. So if I'm using ephemera, ephemera tends to be quite big. So then to have something that's smaller, um, it, it complements that well, because I like to have a range of big embellishments, medium embellishments, small embellishments. Um, so therefore, I'm, I regularly reach to a sticker book um, for smaller items. Um, little word and phrase stickers are always in there, uh, always in those. Um, so, um, so yeah, so that's what I have done there. Just added um, another uh, sticker there that I've added, the little heart on the white section. Um, because there weren't many like white embellishments, it was hard for me to, I'm trying to embellish color on color, you see. So um, I um, was struggling to find things in the same color as that white wave, um, but um, I just about managed it. I found a few bits and pieces, nothing huge. Um, and um, I'm just gonna continue to add little bits and pieces, butterfly up there. Um, the silver detail stickers from the sticker book, a star and two little diamonds. Um, and then I'm go going to the enamel shapes. Now, the enamel shapes um, are very small. Again, that makes my, my heart happy um, because I like to have small bits and pieces um, on my layouts. Um, so, um, and there's two sheets in that, um, that pack. So not just one sheet, two sheets. Um, so I've stuck a number of the pink ones on the pink areas and I've stuck some of the green ones on the green areas and some of the yellow ones on the yellow areas. Um, I didn't want to use the whole pack or the whole sheet um, on one layout. So I have um, just put a few on each. Um, just writing my journaling, using the lines on the layout um, for guidance. So I've written the first line of journaling on the pink section above the line. And the second line of journaling on the green section, just below the line. So I had something to follow. So that all fits in quite nicely. Um, and then I wanted to add some sequins um, to some of those areas 
um, I was basically aiming to fill in one, one or two of the waves um, with some smaller embellishments. And like I said, I didn't want to use the entire pack of um, enamel shapes. Um, so I just grabbed out some sequins, um, Spiegel Mum scrap sequins, and um, just sprinkled those, the pink ones, onto the pink section. There you go. And I'm going to obviously get all of those um, stuck down in a moment. Um, and um, then I thought about going for the other sections as well, but actually decided against it and decided it might be a bit too busy if I had um, literally sequins everywhere. Although it would be quite nice. And maybe I should do that on a different layout. Um, okay, so just getting all those stuck down. I use glossy accents to stick these in place. Um, usually that holds them fairly securely. Sequins are a funny thing, aren't they? They're not flexible, so they can ping off. Um, and um, they're also a bit domed, so that doesn't help either because they don't have a full flat surface to um, stick to. But uh, um, they all seem to be um, holding in place at the moment, which is good. Um, there we go, a little shake test there to make sure there's no loose ones. Um, I put the sunglasses in under my photo. That is um, a piece of ephemera. Um, and just raising that on foam pads. He's wearing his sunglasses. He's on holiday. He's on a boat in the middle of the sea. Um, so this all just... Um, yeah, I just felt they all came together really quite nicely, actually. Um, I really love the layout, um, the way that it turned out. So even though I was sad not to use that rainbow print. Um, okay, so I'm nearly finished uh, phase one. Um, and uh, I'm just going to add some splatters um, of white paint. I use a white acrylic paint um, around my photo. So I was thinking of going like, all over, but uh, I decided against that and just decided to go around the photo. So um, above and below, so I've over all the embellishments, and um, I'm uh, just on some of those colours as well. Right, so this is um, phase two, uh, when I'm home and reunited with my Bramble Fox um, embellishments. Um, so I'm just um, got that fun ahoy title, which I say I knew was going to be um, my uh, the perfect title um, for this layout, um, and um, I've just pulled off my thickers title. Um, which are fabulous, by the way. Pink foam with silver glitter um, finish. Really, really lovely. Um, so I have uh, moved, I peeled those off because uh, I did think about putting Fun Ahoy somewhere else, but it really needed to be on a bit of a straighter edge. Um, so it wouldn't have worked anywhere else on the layout. So it had to go where my thickest title was. So I just peeled them off because um, they're foam. They peel off really nicely. And I've put that set sail down the bottom. Uh, Fun Ahoy has therefore gone at the top and is the, the main... Um, the main photo really sorry the main uh, title sorry I don't know if you're seeing flashes my screen keeps flashing as I'm recording this voiceover so I'm sorry if you're getting uh, flashes as well um, and I've just added a couple of other um, embellishments by Bramble Fox for the passport um, and a little camera icon as well um, I love that blue color the denim color and the pink as well um, just all goes perfectly well with this collection too so I'm just finishing off with a few more white splatters to make sure that those extra embellishments have um, fitted in nicely with my original layout. Okay, so there we go. That is the layout plate. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed seeing this layout come together. I really thoroughly enjoyed making it. Make sure you check out the Jen Hadfield Stardust collection in Go Go Shop Away online shop. All right, thank you so very much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Go Go Shop Away.